if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face. The face of God is what we are invited to pursue. Think about that for a minute. Because the scripture gives that warning, anyone who sees his face dies. So it's a great invitation. (laughs) Come and die. And I tell you what, every time we come before the face of the Lord, something dies that shouldn't have been alive. The Lord invites us into this ongoing interaction with the countenance of a perfect father. So when he says, seek my face, he's not saying seek my hand. I, I've, I've, I have tried to make a strong point for the last probably 20 years that Jesus never scolded anyone for seeking his hand. Blind Bartimaeus wanted to see. Jesus didn't say, oh, you're supposed to seek to know me. He, didn't, he gave him healing in his eyes. You know, the one with the dead relative. They, you know, Jesus brought through his hands the power of God to establish kingdom. He's never scolded anyone for seeking his hand, his blessing. I think it's a responsibility we have. But forgiveness doesn't come from his hand. It comes from his face. It's from the countenance. It's the Father who welcomes. And that's what's needed right now is a group of people that get recalibrated to the face. Somehow, seeing the eyes of a loving father recalibrates every value in my soul. Things that were important 10 minutes ago are no longer important. Things that plagued me or worried me or frustrated me, suddenly they don't have the bite that they once had. Why? Because there's something about the countenance that just absorbs every offense or distraction that I carry in my heart. It just gets absorbed in this face of a loving father. And he says, if my people, the ones I gave my name to, if they would just humble themselves. Seek my face. Turn from their wicked ways. 